Okay, everybody, uh, today I'm going to show you how we can execute SQL injection attack. Um, if you guys remember, we did this in the class. Uh, in, order to, in order to practice SQL injection attack, in order to execute SQL injection attack using SQL map, uh, there are free uh, firstly we need to have python 2.7 so you need to actually download python 2.7.0 please get to this website and this is basically the fourth one if you have windows uh, windows 10 and uh, 64 uh, bit system so you can download that one and most of you guys might have that one and then you also need uh, a software sql map you can actually get to this website and download a zip file since it's a zip file so as you know you need to use winrar to extract uh, the files or the directories from that particular file uh, i have already done that if you see down here uh, in my c drive i have already extracted this python um, i mean install the python and i have already extracted sql map directory if i show you guys this is basically inside the sql map directory and this is basically the python file that's we're going to actually work on that's basically the work file so uh, let's quickly get started. So um, firstly, please open your command prompt. And uh, since we we have already installed Python, we have already extracted SQL. I'm assuming that everybody has extracted SQL map folder uh, the directory and put that folder in the C drive. So let's get to the C drive. So now if you see uh, by putting cd chain directory two dots it will take you out from one directory to other directory and all that no i can access any folder which is located under c drive so cd type sql map so if you see right now i'm in sql map now i can access any file which is located inside the sql map uh, sql map directory so let me just uh, type a command sql map dot py so we use this particular command to, uh, to, to validate or you can say to check the compatibility of Python with SQL map. If you see this kind of figure, it means uh, it is well compatible. Now let's, let's see how, which command we, we need to use in order to launch SQL injection attack. Uh, in, order to in order to hack a database, it's, it's just the four commands. Firstly, we need to find the database on the web page or the website. If the database exists, then we need to find the table. We need to pick a database because we cannot hack all the database altogether. We have to hack database one by one. So a web page or website can have many databases and within the database, there could be many tables. So we need to pick a database first, then we need to pick the table, like we need to list and list the table, how many tables are there in a specific database. Then we need to uh, <clears throat> uh, find the columns in the table we need to pick one table and then find the columns then we need to dump like hack the complete um, uh, hack those particular columns or particular table in fact so these are the four steps so let's start firstly the command is sql map dot py minus u now you need to put the web address which you want to hack uh, I'm going to actually use this particular website, which is deliberately vulnerable for students for testing purpose. And please remember, don't try this attack on any real world website. In fact, so just put the web address here, space minus minus DBS, enter. It, it will take a little and then it will show you guys, uh, like in my case, it is showing there are two databases, Equart and information schema. So. Yeah, I'm gonna actually target this Aquart. So the first step is done. Like we, we found the databases, we found two databases and we're gonna target Aquart. The next is we need to actually find that how many tables are there in Aquart. So bring the same command back by hitting the upper key and now replace this minus minus DBS with minus capital D name of the database. Aquart space minus minus tables. So whatever you wanna find, uh, then you just have to put two, two minuses in fact in order to find out So you guys can see here in aqua database we have these particular tables now It's up to you which particular table you want to uh, dig into like which table uh, you want to hack for example So let's say if I pick users so minus <clears throat> Table minus T name of the table is users then minus minus columns enter that will show you how many columns are there in that particular table. So it's a uh, no, no. Basically, we we're gonna see how which 
particular table uh, or which particular values we need to actually uh, find out for example username password so again bring the same command back so minus c now column let's say u name comma and pass for the password minus minus columns oh sorry minus minus dump so this particular command once you run this command the whole database got cracked you can see you name a password test test as I told you it's just for the testing purpose if you guys have have any questions regarding uh, this particular lab please do reach me out and let me know if there is any issues thank you very much